In this one, we're returning to the southern mid-latitudes to a site just to the south of Spallanzani, which I featured a couple of days ago. Just before I get started, Happy New Year, everybody! And uh, just a shout out to all my subscribers and supporters that have been supporting my work and research over the past three years. The channel is three years old. Thank you very much to everyone who's made this possible. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing this research. Thank you for the kind words of encouragement over the years and also to each and everybody that participates in the discussions. Southern Permafrost Survey, NASA calls this high-rise photograph. And as usual, I'll include the link to the original photograph in the video description below. This photograph was acquired on the 11th of August 2013 at 25.3 centimeters per pixel. I'm showing you images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file, 578 megabytes in size. There's a look at the low res JPEG and we're looking at some of these specks littering this terrain. The first anomaly right there guys and girls, we've seen something very similar to this in some other videos as well. That piece there, it's sort of L-shaped, looks like a piece of sheet metal potentially that's covered in sand and dust on the top left over there. That old piece is about 12 meters long. Let's have a close-up look, check this out. It's got a right angle to it there, folks, over there as well. And then on top of it, it's got this small rectangular part elevated off the surface over here towards the bottom right. It's got a uniform thickness to it over there. Parallel side over here, as I say, potentially covered in sand over here. But this smaller rectangular part aligned parallel with this one side makes this thing look very artificial. Check out the right angle over here to the left as well. We've seen something similar. This is from our video higher resolution photograph. Reveals more artifacts in Argaia. It's also got this sort of L-shaped part and a piece that locks into it over there on the right. This is a similar piece that my friend Wayne over at Mars Form discovered in Sardinia. He's done some incredible work and research on the Sardinia region. Do check out his channel. If you do go there, please subscribe and also hit the like button on his videos, folks. He really needs our help. The shadow banning on YouTube is terrible. It's really getting to us all. But check out this strange L-shaped piece inside. Straight edges and right angles to those parts as well, folks. I'll include the link to his YouTube channel in the description below as well. And we're looking at this multi-layered object over there, folks. It's got a disc and a triangle on the top. That disc is about 8 meters in diameter and each side of that triangle is about 8 meters long. So check that out. We've got some symmetry and geometry going on here. Look at the alignment of this triangle perpendicular to the diameter of that circle there. It goes right through the center. So what could this be? Some type of sculpted piece atop of a structure or some type of technology. And we're checking out another strange structured item over there, folks. That old piece there is about 12 meters long. And uh, it's got strange edges to it. It's got this part on top. Looks like it could be open over here on the right hand side of this piece sticking out got a bridge over there, a bridging part, and then strange parts sticking out of this 
dome-shaped object to the left. Looks like some type of wreckage perhaps. Check out the jagged edge on this one piece. And this spot on top looks very artificial. Right, then we're looking at another structured item over there. This partial disc shaped object, almost in the shape of a tombstone again. Not that it is, folks, but that part there is about 8 meters long. Check out the rectangular part over here on the one side. It's also got a small little part sticking out of its center there. Got right angles and straight edges on that part. And there's another piece over here to the top, parallel with this part here. Strange dome on this block. Right, we're looking at a rectangular megalithic block potentially over there, folks. It's about 12 meters long and about 7 meters wide. It even looks like a container seen from above, filled with some strange stuff. Check that out. Got a uniform width on this one side, right angles very similar to this block I discovered. This is from higher resolution photograph reveals more artifacts in Argaia. Also looks like a type of a container this. Check out the edge over there. Inside it it's got this really black material. Strange right angle there. Another blocky item there guys, that there's about 4 by 6 meters in size and you can see it also has some geometry to it. It's got rounded edges but the general shape being a rectangular part and then it's got this bevel running over the top parallel with this one side. Another object with a smaller one on top. That piece there is about four meters across. Check out the shape. In general we have a rectangular part there again and then in the center that small protrusion or knob. Right then we're looking at these two parts. The one at the top there is about five by six meters in size and the disc over here to the right is about 8 meters across. So check out this straight edges and right angles to it and then this long narrow part running across the top over there. This has a right angle. And then the disc with a small dome right there in the center. We've seen so many of those on Mars already. I don't know what the purpose is of this. I don't know if it's a classical flying saucer object or craft or maybe some type of sculpted piece. I don't know what those are folks. We're looking at another object with a smaller one in its center and this piece here is about six eight meters in size. Check that out. Another dome shaped object in the center there. And it also has these openings or potential openings on the side. Same size spaced evenly apart. Another disc-shaped object with a smaller dome on the top. That part there is about 8 meters across. Now check that out guys. Again, a repeated pattern. And looking at that object, the small part in its center as well. 
that up there to the top looks like an opening small part sticking out of the opening there but let's zoom in on this part it's about 14 meters long and it's got this triangular shape on the top very weird right there in the center again folks and then over here we've got alignment of smaller objects on a larger block that block at the bottom there is about 12 meters long check out the three small parts similar in size and shape arranged in a row next to one another there and then off at a perpendicular angle we've got this narrow part over here you see lots of these alignments on Mars as well some depicting what I speculate to be the summer triangle asterism with Orion we're looking at another blocky part of here it's about eight meters across and it's got a really strange carved out area here to the bottom left small dome and a small sphere right there in its center right angle there and then a small triangular part on the top right let's head on down to that site just south of Spallanzani we have the circular depression over there Spallanzani I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly the site we're looking at is located here guys 61.12 degrees south 87.79 degrees east there's a look at the anomalies just briefly that's very intriguing definitely not a boulder or a rock check out all the right angles and straight edges on that piece guys and then we found two or three similar ones to that as well and then I featured this a couple of days ago the huge block very similar to the one that we find in Asimov there's another of a disc shaped object very similar to this one we covered in this video right there Aquafire one of my channel subscribers pointed out a rather weird anomaly in the last video that I did this is just a quick update we looked at these anomalies over here and Aquafire pointed out these anomalies and I thought I'd include it as an update in this video quickly there's the anomaly we checked out over here with the strange L-shaped part on it check out the right angles to this object over here rather irregular and then the blocks over at the top of this photograph here we've got one block we've got another long narrow piece here very similar to another one that i discovered in a previous video check that out look at the similar shape and design to these two objects guys this is from our video anomalies discovered in valley near alice basin thanks aquifier much appreciated that's it for this one folks i hope you enjoy the rest of your new year hopefully 2021 is not as depressing and frustrating as 2020 was i won't say why just now my video gets deleted off youtube so hopefully 2021 isn't going to be so bad folks do take care i'll see you in the next one bye bye for now